Hi everyone, today we will cook two fish dishes. For me, one of the joy for living in Winnipeg is go out fishing, but the frustration part, I never catch one. So today, make my life easier, I just go out and buy one, okay? And uh, today we start with a very nice uh, whole pickle. And uh, today we will steam it, and uh, we use very popular wrapping sauce. And um, so I treat the fish first and then, then I explain a little bit the wrapping. Okay. And then naturally you have the fish and then you take off the gill part and uh, take off the scale and uh, clean the inside. Okay. After the fish is totally clean and then for mainly the fish and then we use a um, little bit salt. For the fish, two pounder, two and a half pounder, and then just use uh, about half teaspoon of salt. I have to taste of it. Yeah, it is salt. Roughly about half teaspoon of salt. And rub it. And I think that this job is better just working in a sink, okay? And uh, anyway, uh, we try to rub around the fish with some salt, okay? Just rub around. And the purpose of use the salt is not only for taste, and uh, sometimes just can really wash away the fish flavor. And then we have some wine. And um, I always like use uh, Chinese uh, rice wine, but uh, Today we use a Japanese sake. It's a rice wine too, it's very good. And uh, people say you can use a sherry or you can use any kind of your favorite white wine. But um, it's very easy to get the, the sake here. So we use some sake. Okay, marinate. And then uh, we cut the fish a little bit. And then because, you see, if, the, if you sting the fish like that, and then this side's done, this side's not quite done. So we try to cut the, the fish flat, flat out, yeah. So we start from here, take it out. And if you use Chinese cleaver, and then use the heel part, and just cut it out. Okay, turn the fish out, and you will see the bones over here, right? So use the, the cleaver and gradually edge the major bone, and then just try to gradually, gradually, gradually cut out the bone. So now the fish almost become a one big fried fish. Right? And then uh, just make the meat easy to, to get done. And then we have some cuts. And then we cut the fish here, s not only to make it easy to cooking, and then just let the, the sauce will easy to brandish to the fresh. Okay, yeah. Some cut here, some cut here, some cut here. Some cut here and some cut here. It's done. Okay, now the fish is done. So now we prepare some uh, wrapping sauce. I put the fish on the plate first. It's a beautiful plate. Okay, naturally I, I, I should have to go out to wash my hands, but now I just do it in front of you. Here's the bread bean. You can get a very nice bread bean in Chinatown, okay? And bread bean is a fermented soya beans, actually. And uh, take it out, actually, you can try it. It's salty and tasty. 
and then prepare the bread bean sauce. And then we soak the bread bean with a little bit of hot water. Just soften the bread bean to make the bread bean flavor easy to come out. So after you soak for a while, either you can take it out and use cleaver or knife to chop it, or you can just use a spoon to crush it, okay? Or you can use any kind of a chopping fancy machine to chop it, but just a single spoon is very, very easy, okay? And uh, how many bread beans, sometimes just depends how many bread bean flavor you want. For the fish big like that, I would prefer use two tablespoons of the bread bean. So now we mash the bread bean, and then it's not tasty enough, so we have to put a little bit more flavors. Okay, naturally, we put a little bit of salt. You see, I taste it a little bit, right? Because the brand is different. Sometimes some brand of a red bean is saltier than the other. So, and then you decide how many salt you want to put in. Just a little bit for this one. And um, put a little bit of sake, rice wine, or you, any kind of flavor wine. Put a little bit. So that sauce. Because the bread bean is already so black, okay, so we will use light soy sauce. Okay, and then I found garlic and the bread bean. It's very, very nice combination. So put some garlic. And the gingers go well with the fish. So have some ginger. Okay, roughly one tablespoon each, okay. I always like chili stuff. If you like chili stuff, and then you can have some chili pepper. And if you don't, skip this, okay? Anyway, it's my show, I like it. So I chop some chilies. Chop this as fine as possible. And then uh, today I'm very lucky. Actually in Winnipeg, sometimes we don't easily find out this kind of a, find this kind of a red colored chilies. So uh, the most of the time, I will just use any kind of a chili in hand and then just enhance the color with some um, red sweet peppers. Just to have some nice color. I want to add a little Okay, now I think the color is pretty enough. So I take this out just for camera. This is to shoot. Okay, put it in. Thank you. And for me, I always like have some uh, sesame seed oil. Okay. Now the sauce is, is ready to use, okay? And uh, spread it on, on the fish. And then this is for the taste. Yeah, and then sometimes we can do this, okay? You see, there's a, there's a cut and then we try to press the bread bean into, th into the cut and just l let the bread bean sauce easy to penetrate. Okay. That's it, because sometimes, just like today, it's for the cooking show. So sometimes we just want to make it prettier. And just have red color. That's the Chinese people's favorite color. Just sprinkle it on. Just make it look prettier. Okay, and then we will done the steam pot in the kitchen, and then I will show you. And uh, after the fish is steamed, and then we will put some green onion on the top, and then we prepare the hot oil, all drip the oil, uh, all drip the fish, 
and then you will have a very, very tasty steamed fish. And now I think for this dish, all the preparation is done.